My name is Christopher Dean Jackson. I was uh, an E-6 nuclear machinist mate in the United States Navy in 20 years, uh, both blended active duty service and in the reserves. My time in the U.S. Navy molded everything that I have done uh, during my time in the data center industry. How I staff buildings, how we perform our operations, how we perform our maintenance. Uh, during my time in the military, uh, a part of a nuclear uh, battle group, especially in an aircraft carrier, you had everything that you were going to get on board. Your team, your equipment, your repair parts, your training, you had all you were going to get. So in so doing, I have applied that same methodology into everything that we do in the data center industry. We focus on developing our talent. We focus on building the best possible facilities that we can. We learn everything about them. We learn how to operate them. We learn how to maintain them. And we absolutely learn how to operate them in adverse conditions. We utilize the best possible people that we can bring into the industry and we train them to the best versions of themselves. Everything that we do now in the data center industry is a result of things that I learned during my time in the U.S. military. The digital infrastructure community is changing in ways that no one could have ever foreseen. Both world events and technological advancements, as well as the interconnection of our society has mandated that the critical infrastructure world is going to move forward at a pace that no one had ever seen coming. The increased demand in the AI development and AI community is also having an impact in this world as well. Where military veterans come to play is the fact that they are very used to a quick changing environment with very little information that is coming in to prepare them for the decisions in which they have to make and move forward. And in so doing, in this new environment that we find ourselves in as a society and as global environment, military veterans are at the forefront of people that are able to make well communicated, rapid decisions based on critical information received in a timely manner. They do so with the understanding that they may have to recover and reevaluate. And when they do, they do so with information that is given to them in a myriad of fashions, and they do so across the entire portfolio. In this fashion alone, military veterans have, I believe, one of the most incredible advantages over anyone else in the workforce.